My name's Andrew Mooney, I'm from the Central Coast, Australia. My obsession with surfing began the day I caught my first wave. This feeling came over me just, I don't know, it was like nothing I'd ever felt before. And from that moment, I was just totally hooked. I'd been hanging to test out some new designs I'd been working on when I saw a swell on the charts heading towards Indonesia. It looked like the perfect opportunity to test out some new designs in some decent waves. We were having a sick trip, but a few weeks in, one wave didn't go to plan. I got squashed against my board and I twisted my ankle, hyperextending it in the wrong direction. Hello surf fans, welcome to beautiful and treacherous Cape Solander, Australia on the outskirts of Sydney for an event we're calling Red Bull Cape Fear. Okay, live action here, Dave Wassell, Andrew Mooney flying through the inside. Look at this, he's gonna have to deal with a big chunk of backwash as he flies through this pit. Oh, beautiful line through that, the crowd going absolutely mad and Andrew Mooney. You, my friend, are a star of the show. Look how big that wave got. It took off, it was a hill, it was an ant. Now it's a molehill, and now it's Mount Kilimanjaro. Oh, I was on such a high when the event finished, but I just knew in the back of my mind that my ankle was in a really bad way. Now after that day, I didn't surf for 10 months, and six of those months I was totally unable to walk. As soon as I could surf again, I packed my trusty old van and chased the first swell I saw on the charts. After being out of the water for so long, and then cramped in a car, hanging onto a steering wheel for 26 hours straight, I couldn't wait to get out on the ocean. I threw myself on the back of the jet ski, and then I was confronted with a power in the ocean I'd forgotten existed. Then to catch my first wave, it was just incredible. you got Jai? The thing was out of control. Like, the view I had of that on the ski was just crazy. Just so big and thick. Frothing. I'm back out there as soon as possible. Strapping the ankle and back into it. Those waves felt pretty powerful and I think the swell had swung around a bit more so it was kind of even angrier when they hit the reef they're kind of really wrapping around um, so I'm pretty happy we got out there got a few and walking home safe now you really don't want to hurt yourself out here it's so remote that any help is hard to come by Last time I was out here, I slammed the bottom really hard 
and I was just fortunate enough that my arm cushioned the blow between my head and the rock. This time bodyboarder Nick Olmerod hit the bottom. He fractured his spine, dislocated his spine, broke his ribs and punctured his lung. It was a really heavy situation, especially for the fact he had to wait hours for an ambulance, drive hours to the nearest hospital and then from there airlifted to another hospital that could properly attend to him. It's really scary. These scenarios are real and they're really hard to get out of your mind before you surf these waves. And often I find myself wondering, if these risks weren't there, would it be as much fun? had such a fun day waves, um, found a few air sections on a beachy and even got a few barrels on a um, reef break again this afternoon. Now um, just psyching up to drive 11 or 12 hours overnight back across the Nullarbor to um, get ourselves in some slabs again. Just absolutely loving being out here in the middle of nowhere. Okay, great. Yeah, we had a shock of a night. Um, the tail shaft snapped off the car. We we're going about 120 k's an hour. Um, then we're stuck by the road all night. And now we can't get through to the waves because we don't have any power to the wheels. And those sand dunes are the only way I know how to get there. And I know the waves are pumping. Like, I don't know what to do, I'm so pissed off. A little small track? Yeah. No, this is a big track, mate. The big one? It's a big track and it goes exactly where you want to go. I'm telling you. Right, okay. <laughs> you can get down on that, in that, in a pinch of piss. You don't even need four wheel drive. It's Bloody all. Oh. It's We're all. there. Yeah, that's all the right. spot, mate. Waste of time. Cheers. Thanks to our new mate Jack, we found the track that would accommodate our semi-broken down vehicle. And on the way out there we bumped into our mate Mikey Brennan who joined us for our last session before we packed her up and drove halfway across Australia to get home.
It was so good to be back in the water with a good ankle again. It was a real comeback for me, not only physically, but mentally. The great thing is, from here on, I'm carrying that extra appreciation that only time out of the water can bring.